good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another episode of My Damn Hauls coming at you guys, and it is an epic one, ladies and gentlemen. It is epic. We got this big box right here from my boy TJ, Undisputed Brotherhood. Huge shout-out to my brother from the Brotherhood of Undisputed. TJ from Canada, my Canadian brother. His Instagram and YouTube channel links are in the description, guys. Definitely go check him out if you guys don't know who he is. Big time guy. You know, he's actually one of the inspirations that got me even started on YouTube and trying to make a channel based off WWE and WWE figures and stuff like that. And he's really in the middle of a transition of his channel, kind of transferring out of figures. And overall, he just deserves a more bigger following, guys. So definitely go check out my boy. And we're going to get into this package. However, before we get into the package, I do want to get into a couple pickups that we got at retail so if you guys follow me on instagram you guys saw that i did post the other day from target i went to target they had an elite 73 Alistair Football Black, and I was super excited for that. I did not expect to see this, and uh, if you guys are wondering why I've grabbed another one, I actually didn't just grab another one just to have it. I actually effed mine up. I, I actually effed mine up, and so, uh, yeah, it, it's not good. I, I messed up this boot and this knee pad. Very tragic situation, and so what I'm going to do is uh, leave this one like it is. I'm not going to try to customize it. I'm not trying to do anything. I don't want to make him taller. Just forget it, man. I'm going to leave it like this and that's the end of it because I effed up the other one. I don't want to eff this one. Not only did we get Alistair Black, guys, but we got the brand new Network Spotlight Series 2 to target Matthew Hardy right here. Probably his last elite effort if he ends up leaving the company. I know uh, next Monday he has like a no-holds-barred match with Randy Orton, I think. And I actually had like a fantasy booking idea in my head for him. You know how like he's been talking about goodbye and all this stuff and how he's been off TV and then he magically came back and then he got concertoed by Randy Orton. I had like this idea that what if this is all a ploy and you guys remember when he was teaming with Bray Wyatt? What if this was just all a ploy from the Ultimate Deletion and it ended up being like him and Bray working together as the Fiend and Matt Hardy? I don't know. It just popped in my head. I was like, how badass would that be? I wanted to put that out in the universe because if I end up being right somehow, I know I'm not. But if I ended up being right... Then, uh, then, then you guys heard it right here. But also, we got the dilapidated boat, which I was really excited for. Vanguard 1, really sick accessories. I, I would definitely want to get some usage out of this in the pick fed somehow. I think it'd be really sick. I also have their, their loose hands, interchangeable hands, inside the dilapidated boat. A uh, little bit of vomit. So, uh, this is sick. I'm really excited for this. I think this is really well made. It's sturdy and stuff. Very happy that he came with a dilapidated boat. Now, we just need the mower of lawns, and it's going to be a good day. But we also have Vanguard 1, which is very sick. I love this. The, the freaking operational wings and the drone. It, it's just very cool. So I'm very happy to have the Matt Hardy and the Alistair Black. So we're going to put them in the, the dilapidated boat and we're going to dilapidate the hell away. But now, guys, that we've done that, we got this epic package. TJ was selling his uh, his collection. He's selling off his collection and stuff. I don't know if he still has some stuff for sale. If he does, go hit him up. Uh, really great deals on this. I got excellent deals on this, like a beyond, just ridiculous. And you guys are going to see what I'm talking about as we cut it open. But you guys know that we cannot cut open our box unless we have the trusty old... Knife. What you got? What the hell was that? God damn it, son. Don't ever raise your hand to me like that again, all right? I consider that a threat. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, Falker. Who are you? Bubbly. So let's hope I didn't stab a figure, because that's going to be awful if I stabbed a figure. But uh, where the hell can I even cut this? I guess we can cut it right here. I'm going to cover up the Addy a little bit more right there as I cut down the seam. You know, I really do need a sharpener, or I need a new trusty knife. I really don't want to retire this one, though, because I love the trusty knife. You know, he's been here since the, since the beginning, and I really want to keep him. So uh, I don't know what the hell I'll do. But the last time I got mail from... From TJ, it was an epic package, and so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it again here today. So I'm gonna open this hoe up. That's not how I wanted to cut it open. I kind of wanted to cut it open like I thought it was gonna flap open, but maybe it can't. Dead gum. Okay, so we're just gonna do this. 
and just kind of set that out. And uh, we're going to dive into this hoe, guys. So I got this big old box of stuff for a, an amazing deal. And it's just it's just epic, guys. So we're just going to go through it here and take a look-see. So the first figure that we do have, guys, is the 2K exclusive John Cena figure. And that baggie literally just tore right in half. But I did not have this. I've never owned this figure. But I figured you guys know the epic Cena football collection. I wanted to add this to it. So I went ahead and grabbed this Cena. I thought it was excellent. And, uh, you know, he was selling it. So I figured why not grab it again. I've never had it. The Cena enough 2K Cena. So that is our first figure that we did get. Another figure that we got, guys, is another Jeff Hardy, which is the first Jeff Hardy we've seen. So I don't know why I'm saying another. But it is an Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. It's not the uh, entrance crates. It's actually the Elite 57 with the SummerSlam, I think, Basic 94 head sculpt. I can't remember what Basic series it is. But he does have the shirtless mold. This is Elite 57 right there. You got all the tattoo detail on here. Very beautiful pickup. Excellent. Just just beautiful figure. Uh, very hard to get nowadays, so I was very happy to get this for a great deal from TJ, and uh, I can't wait to add that to the Hardy collection. Speaking of Hardy, we've already covered one Matt Hardy, but we got another one in here, and it is the Epic Moments Matt Hardy, which I have only got one of because I never saw this thing at retail. You know, we got it from Ringside Collectibles using promo code MD toys and then we never got it again he also threw in this custom shirt the reborn by fate shirt and it looks great man i'm really happy to add this figure to my collection again because i wanted to do a head swap with it and give it a different little look there so you got the silver pants from the epic moments hardy boys where they re where they returned at wrestlemania the next figure, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be, I think it's the Epic Mo I can't remember if it's the Epic Moments or if it's the Elite 71. I want to say, yeah, it's the Epic Moments, but he did say that he switched on the uh, the Elite 71 arms, so we can actually switch these hands out if we want to, so that's excellent. So we have another Epic Moments Adam Cole, and uh, I don't know how many effing Adam Coles I have now, but it's a lot, okay? It is, it's a lot. I feel like I have a lot of Adam Coles now, so I need to do some different attacks tires and stuff. Not only that, dude, we do have the North American Championship, and I think he threw that in for free. So, huge shout-out to my boy TJ, and he threw in his interchangeable arms. So, that, or arms. I wish we had interchangeable arms. Interchangeable hands. What the hell would you need interchangeable arms for? Next up, guys, we have another Hardy, and it is the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy. So, I'm bagging him here. Oh, did he throw in the title belt? He also threw in the title belt. I did not expect that either. So, we have another ringside exclusive, and it is the Matt Hardy. Hardy from the Brood 2-Pack. Very happy to add this to the collection. Another one. I think this is my third now. Nonetheless, very happy to add it. He also threw in the championship belt and the interchangeable hands, which I can always appreciate and get a use out of. Moving on along, guys. Reaching up in here, what else do we have? We have the other half of the Hardy Boys. It is the Brood 2-Pack ringside exclusive Jeff Hardy this time. And it is his championship belt included as well. Thank you so much, brother. So there's the title belt. We got the Brood Hardy. So we got Jeff and Matt to go together. So there's another one. So we're already adding up the mats. We got three mats, two Jeffs. I mean, it's a Hardy Boy unboxing in this hoe. And uh, again, it's just a freaking ridiculous deal that we got on this box, guys. Like, it was a crazy deal. And uh, you definitely need to go cash in your Money in the Bank briefcase on TJ right now if you want to do that. But here we got an Edge Basic. I actually picked this up for the arms. I was going to use these lower arms for something. Um, possibly a head swap. I'm not sure. But I really wanted this Basic for an, an arm swap or a lower arm swap that could possibly come in the future, so I did want to grab this basic while I was already at it. Next up, guys, we have a couple head sculpts. Actually, we have three head sculpts in this little bag right here, so we're going to pop that open, and you guys will see what head sculpts we have. We have a basic Jeff Hardy head sculpt, and the reason I got this was to do a custom face paint, so he probably will not look skin tone, because I know we have the True Effects version, so I will be using this to uh, do a face paint with. I'm always picking up extra Hardys. And then we have our Diablos Locos head sculpts or Loco Diablos from MDT Developmental. I'm going to use these head sculpts and I'm going to paint some custom designs on their masks. So these are the head sculpts we will use for our uh, Loco Diablos or Diablos Locos tag team from the MDT, you know, developmental pick fed brand. So there's that. Next up, guys, we do have a Roddy Strong. So Roddy Strong is one of my favorite talents in the entire world. He own, he not only threw in the rubber, sh uh, rubber shirt that you get with the Elite figure, he also 
also threw me in the Undisputed Era cloth shirt, and that is wonderful, man. Thank you so very much. So very epic. He threw in the Epic Moments t-shirt. Very beautiful. Really happy to add another Roderick Strong to the collection. So we have that figure on top of our Undisputed Chera, on top of our Undisputed Era hand. So I got a, I got plenty of freaking Undisputed Era uh, interchangeable hands. Oh, snap. I don't think I ordered this, dude. I do not think I ordered this at all, but he threw in his custom Roderick Strong that he made forever ago that I always used to love. I thought this was a great custom for the time. He's got the white attire right there. I think this is from NXT TakeOver New Orleans where he joined the Undisputed Era actually. And so you got the Strong on the butt right there. White tights. Beautiful looking custom figure. Very excellent. Love this to death. So thank you so much TJ. Did not expect to get this but we have the custom white attire Roderick Strong to go along with our Elite 72. Digging on in here again guys we do have another elite it is an elite randall keith orton it is the elite series i can't remember the series what is it what is it 67 we have the elite 67 randy orton and i wanted to get another one of these for customs for the future he did throw in i don't think he did he come with fists yeah i think he did come with fists but he has the open knee pads on there and he did throw in his cloth hoodie which looks great on this figure so now i have two of this hoodie and uh, this makes like my 80th elite 67 Randy Orton, but you know what, Brad? I need to fill up that Randy Orton shelf over there, all right? So you, you just get out of my DMs. So there is that. Another figure, guys, is another Elite Series 70 Dolph Ziggler for future customs and stuff of that nature. So we have another Ziggler. It's got the beautiful head sculpt. We got the jacket on there. You got the Hollywood attire, obviously. We got Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler to go in the collection, and he actually already has the smaller arm switched on. So that is just freaking fan freaking tastic right there. You love to see that. That. So digging back here, guys, we have another figure. It is an Elite Series 73 Triple H, and I don't remember a sledgehammer, but I guess he threw that in for free, I guess, or did the, I, I can't remember, but thank you, TJ. Thank you so very much. Uh, I picked up this Triple H because I really wanted another bearded head sculpt for my Triple H's for the collection, so I went ahead and picked up this. Very beautiful. Or is this the Elite, Elite 60? Maybe it's Elite 60? Maybe it's not Elite 73? I don't freaking remember. I think it's Elite 60 though. Next up guys, we do have another Elite Buddy Murphy. So I went ahead and added another Buddy Murphy to the collection. You know, I love Buddy Murphy. We used the first one to make this Flip Fokker figure. So I wanted to get another one. And then, uh, so I ordered that off eBay. And then TJ said he was selling his. So I said, you know what, Brad? Let me get that. Uh, I really wish it was the Chase variant so I'd have both versions. But you know what? This is a great base for a future custom, a fix-up. Um, who, who, who knows? But I, I love Buddy Murphy to death. I think he's fantastic. So I am happy to add another Buddy Murphy to the collection. So we have another Buddy Murphy figure. On top of Buddy Murphy, we did go ahead and pick up TJ's Elite 73 Aleister Black. And uh, the reason I got this one is because, uh, I, as you guys know, I messed this up. I actually bought this from TJ before I found it at retail. So, uh, or maybe it's vice versa. I don't know. But anyways, he said he was still selling his. So I said, you know what? For that good a deal, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. So I went ahead and grabbed uh, another Elite 73 Aleister Black. So now we have two uh, Aleister Blacks in this haul. Two beautiful Elite Series 73s right there with a the great kick pad. Really happy to add another Aleister Black. And then I think this is the last figure in here. Let me go ahead and empty this hole out. Make sure TJ didn't sneak anything in there. A football note or anything. So we're good there. And the last figure, guys, is the GOAT. It is the GOAT. It is the GOAT. We have an Elite Iron Sheik, and I do not remember the series. Maybe it was Legend Series or something. And he's got some paint scuffs on him, but you know what, Brad? That's okay. We do have this Iron Sheik figure, and his uh, legs are actually very, very tight, like super duper tight. I really don't know. It's, it's not TJ's fault. It's just the way they made him uh, back in the day. Uh, like, look at this right here. It's kind of like my Rey Mysterio. Older elites that Mattel had had this problem, so I don't know what I'll do to fix that. But I just wanted this Iron Sheik because I wanted to collect every Iron Sheik there is just because I really like him. I think he's fantastic, and I like this attire a lot, so I wanted to add this to the collection. Really cool figure. You got Iran on both sides. Just a really cool-looking figure, so I wanted to add it. So that is our complete unboxing, guys. I mean, my God, there that, that, was, that was an epic haul. I mean, Jesus Lord. Let's go ahead and swipe everything into 
into the picture right here so you guys can see. Look at this great haul we got from my boy TJ, man. Thank you so very much to TJ again. Dilapidated boat hath runneth over here. I would say this is a damn good episode of My Damn Hauls, guys. I mean, my lord, would you just look at the haul. The haul is fantastic. We got so much stuff going on in here. A huge shout out to TJ again for the amazing deal. I can't wait to get usage out of all this stuff on the channel. It's going to be great stuff. But that is going to do it for this episode of My Damn Hauls. Guys, comment down below what your favorite figure was from the pickup. I'm going to go film some Hell's Gate. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.